Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentor slash IT Varsity and uh, as part of MapReduce application development using Hadoop APS, uh, we have developed uh, many MapReduce applications starting from uh, simple ones uh, which includes uh, 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 seeing the behavior of default map and reducer. Then we have developed uh, another simple MapReduce application for record count and then uh, a full-blown um, uh, MapReduce application with complete life cycle which is average stock per um, month um, by volume and then we have seen how we can uh, effectively filter the data how we can actually partition the data so that uh, da data is distributed evenly across multiple reducers if you are using more than one reducer and then we are talking about comparators to see how we can leverage comparators to sort and also to group it uh, to, uh, to implement uh, scenarios like ranking etc. As part of that, we have seen, uh, we have developed a mapper and then we have uh, implemented a simple driver uh, to understand the behavior of each and every step. Now we will take it to the next step. Uh, in the last video, we have developed a program and uh, um, we have developed the driver and we have used uh, uh, four, a number of reducers as four and you can see that the, the, the data is distributed into these four files and uh, 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 it can be distributed in any fashion based upon the key so uh, uh, typically uh, data can uh, uh, data related to um, uh, um, data related to key will be distributed uh, um, data related uh, so we, we have composite key which have two attributes and the first one is uh, the date and the second one is uh, the volume and uh, we, we want to group it by date so that we can actually uh, get data by descending order of volume uh, for our reducer uh, to compute the ranking uh, uh, to get top three stocks. Uh, so for that we need to get all the stocks grouped together for a given day. But when we are using composite key uh, with the default partitioner, uh, the key can be distributed across multiple files in this case. It can be and it cannot be, it depends upon uh, the behavior of the underlying hash logic, but most likely it will be the case. Let's validate here for 2012-1231 and see in, in what all files um, it has the data. Okay, and you can see that all the records related to December 12, uh, sorry, December 31st, 2012 are in only one file which is uh, part r 0002 okay i this is just a coincidence um, because it's a numeric value um, it it is uh, uh, exhibiting that behavior but most likely uh, it could be of any uh, any order i mean so the, as as we are dealing with composite key so this one can go to a one partitioner and uh, the next one uh, this one can go to some other partitioner. So there is no guarantee that you will get this using default partitioner. To guarantee it, you have to implement custom partitioners and we will see how we can implement custom partitioners for this case. And while implementing custom partitioners, you, won't, you not only have to worry about how uh, uh, the data is partitioned, but also you can uh, uh, develop in such a way that data can be globally sorted using multiple reducers. When we talk about global sorting earlier, uh, the easiest way is to set number of reducers as one and automatically data will be globally sorted. But it is not the, uh, but the performance wise, it is not very good if you are dealing with too much of data. For that reason, we will try to simulate the global sorting uh, uh, using partitioner. Um, uh, before that, we will just to try to group uh, yeah, on the first key, uh, first attribute of our composite key, and then we will see the behavior, and then we will again uh, try to do the, uh, um, and then we will uh, try to implement how we can achieve the global sorting as well. So uh, when it comes to global sorting, right, you can see that December 12, 31 is in second file. Okay, 
but if, uh, if we can achieve in such a way that um, all the uh, um, uh, that December 12th, 31st is in the last file means when we actually consolidate into uh, into one file as we have seen towards the end of the last video uh, we should be able to uh, get in proper uh, we should be able to get the data in proper order so for example if you look at this file which is generated as part of the end of the last video you can see that there is no particular order you you was getting 2013 data 2012 data randomly so it is not globally sorted and it might it, it will make sense if if data can be globally sorted using multiple number of reducers so we will see in this video how we can uh, implement partition in such a way that data is not only partitioned but also globally sorted by our leading field of our composite key which is date and volume being said that let's go ahead and start developing the partitioner okay so i am clicking on the partitioners uh, I, I have right clicked on partitioners new class and then we can say first key long pair partitioner.java sorry partitioner that's it and as we have seen earlier it has to extend the partitioner so extends partitioner of type long pair is our key map output key and text is a uh, uh, and ma our map output uh, value map output key type is long pair and map output value type is text so we need to import these classes okay and we have to implement uh, the uh, get partition method in this okay so right now uh, it can uh, first let us see how we can make sure that data is always go to uh, means data related to one data always go to one partition for that what we have to do is we need to uh, create a long object long uh, part value equal to key dot get first dot get okay and uh, and then um, we will get the date portion into the part wa value and I want to return part value mod num partitions okay and it is of type uh, long so I have to type cast to int now we have the partitioner and we need to use this as part of our driver so it is job dot set partitioner class which is first key long partitioner dot class and now we we are ready to validate this so i am uh, doing run as run configurations i want to create a new directory output 01 here and run it it is executed now and now we will see all these files consolidated and now I am actually looking at the content of the consolidated and you can see that we got 2013 December 31st as the uh, last one okay and uh, as a um, volume is our trading key you can already see that uh, sorry it is not sorted because of that one um, we, we haven't uh, ensured the uh, global sorting yet but uh, somehow it actually sorted the data
okay if you see the first record is of 2012 january 04 yeah if you see the data is not globally sorted but uh, this will actually make sure that uh, yeah, yeah, data related to one particular date is uh, goes to only one person at a given uh, uh, will go to one person because we are trying to use the custom partitioner but if you see data is not globally sorted so now we will try to globally sort the data uh, tweaking the same partitioner in somewhat different manner so whenever you develop the partitioner you also keep in mind whether it is uh, whether you need to do the global sorting by using more number of reducers and you can uh, 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 implement uh, the global sorting behavior uh, by using more number of reducers as part of your map reduce application if you can think how you can solve that so in this case we have data for two years 2012 uh, january 1st to 2013 december 31st so we can actually distribute this data in such a way that 2012 first uh, uh, 2012 january first to 2012 june 30th to go to one partition 2000 and then july first 2012 to december 31st 2012 to another one similarly the third one will be uh, first of january 2013 to 30th june 2013 and the fourth one will be the rest of the time so we can actually think about that and uh, we can tweak our partitioner this is the easiest way to uh, get it by hard coding but you should not do it in uh, um, actual projects you you have to have uh, something called distributed cache or the file systems which we will see later um, and so when you actually write uh, data out of the uh, reducer you can use multiple output format and override the default behavior of naming convention of our files and directories while writing into the HDFS. Using that also you can actually achieve the global sorting. I will show that also as part of this application. But for now let us see how we can actually achieve that as part of tweaking our partitional logic. So in this case our part value will be 2012 January 1st, 2012 January 2nd etc. And I am just hard coding saying that if two, the part value is greater than or equal to 2012 January 1st and part value less than or equal to 2012 06.30 then I want to return 0 and uh, here we don't need to do apply the mod logic and all those things to, to, up, uh, to simulate the range partitioning in this case by default it is hash and we are trying to simulate the range by hard coding these values but you can actually pass something called distributed cache and tweak, uh, uh, make it autom uh, automatic irrespective of number of reducers you pass in this case unless data is uh, uh, unless you try to process data between 2012 to 2013 with the number of reducers as four uh, then uh, you will have some performance issues. So uh, I am developing the partitioner only for our uh, case at this particular point in time. And this should not be the approach when you actually develop the uh, MapReduce applications in, in your projects. You should not hard code like this. So let me say return zero here. And then I have to say else if part value greater than or equal to 2012 July 1st and part value less than or equal to 2012 December 31st I want to return 1. So all the dates between this range will go to first part uh, first file uh, out of our reducer which is part minus r minus 0000, 0, 0, 0 and this one will go to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 and the next one will go to 2 and the fourth one will go to 3 okay so here i have to say 2013 january 1st 2013 june 30th I want to return to and then 2013 July 1st to 2013 December 31st 
I want to return 3. So now we will get the sorting without any issues. We have hard coded it, but as I have emphasized earlier, don't do that this way in your um, projects. You have to think further and uh, you have to come up with a better algorithm where you can automate the process. That being said, let us save this and uh, run as run configurations and I am giving uh, another directory here, output 02 and click on run. So I am going to output 02 to run successfully and we can see the files and then let us cat to consolidated file and then you consolidated file and you can see that the first record is 2012 January 2nd and then you can actually search for 0103 and it's the next one and then 0104 it's the next one and then you can actually search for 2012 uh, December 31st which is after December 28th 29th and 30 might be holidays you can search for them 12 December 29th and you cannot see that similarly 30 also and then if you go till the end you can see 2013 December 31st okay so this is how you can achieve global sorting by uh, tweaking your partitioner in such a way that you can actually implement or simulate the range partitioning um, MapReduce API provides something called total order partitioner I am trying to work out an example on that what it will do is it can actually sample your data and uh, build uh, uh, the mapping between uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the keys and the partition and you can use that um, uh, approach to automate this process so you need to build that file using the sample uh, MapReduce API provide uh, some methods to sample the data and get the mapping and then you, uh, that mapping will be used um, while partitioning the data and for that there is a class called total order partition I will try to get that program uh, I, I will try to implement that program later but for now this is how you can actually uh, uh, come up with custom partitioner which can take care of global sorting using uh, more number of uh, reducers rather than just one reducer that being said that is it for now and next uh, uh, thing what we need to get is we need to get the values after uh, 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 the values in the second attribute of our composite key in descending order so that we can rank our stocks based upon the volume and easily get our top three stocks as part of the reducer logic we will take care of that as part of the next video we will implement the sorting comparator and also uh, before uh, reducer we need to implement something called grouping comparator also so that instead of uh, invoking our reducer for each and every composite key we can only invoke um, uh, for e uh, reducer once per day and we can process all the records for that day and get the top three records pretty easily we will see that um, as we move forward that being said i hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel and if you like a particular video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback or ask any technical question related to a particular video please do so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will see a lot more content than just hadoop or big data thank you bye